Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my another webinar and what we are going to talk about today. I mean this is the weekend and we have enough time to talk about. Today we are going to talk about how to style the, the React components. I mean you if you are already writing React apps then you already know that there are many possible ways. Either you can write inline styles, you can use styled components, you can write says, you can actually put your styles in a different CSS files or you can actually all together do use some totally different approach. So we are going to see, okay, what all different possible ways we can use. You can write sas, slash, right? You can use .css file, you can use CSS modules. You can use a styled components, which is CSS in JS, right? You don't need to, you don't feel like, okay, you are writing a CSS, you, are, you look, it looks like you are writing a JavaScript. So first we will talk about inline style. This is a simple HTML uh, I have written inside this app component and now we are going to uh, use the inline styles to make it look better. Inline styles means you are putting the styles in the same tag uh, of the div. Inline style like let's say I want to style it. What I will do is okay I will put all the styles here which doesn't look good right uh, for me and here you have to follow the, the the CSS properties provided by React, like font family. Uh, I can just use Roboto, right? And this is like a JavaScript object you are writing, and like font size, right? Font size is you can say one rem. Then you will just do font weight. It's not like a CSS property, it's coming in a single word because it's a JavaScript property. And you can just say font weight is 1.5 and line height. These all properties you can see, line height you can say 1.5 and then color. Color will go in single quotes, you can just decide the color and then margin padding. We can put is the background color also. The ground color will be a single word, and you can just provide the hex code for that. And similarly, the padding. Padding you will be putting R0 and 2RM. Okay, color we can simply say black. Will it work? Yes. And padding 0RM from uh, I mean the vertical padding will be 0 and the horizontal padding will be 2 rem okay this is like inline style I have added for this div similarly we can also talk about the putting the inline style for the image because I want to show this image a circle All right so I can use style and upper curly braces because this is an object and this is a style property right so this that's why we are using double curly braces here we can set margin, margin let's say, margin auto 10 pixel and you can just say border radius, there is a property border, there should be border radius, border radius, RMDI. Border radius and I am just, I can just say is I need border radius is 50% that means this will go inside a circle and then I can say is margin bottom margin bottom is uh, the picture okay so this is how we are adding the inline style to any div and you can do this to any kind of div we are writing like this is the paragraph tag and I wanted to add inline style for this. So I will say is line height this. You can make it you can make it center aligned. The whole section is text align center. Also, here we can do this. Text align center, and this should be a property. Same styling we can apply for 
Uh, okay, this is the P tag, and we can supply the same styling for this. Maybe uh, the font size can be a little bit bigger. We can just make it two, right? And uh, this is how it looks like. Not that bad, right? And we can also set the background color and all on this the whole section. Background color is currently this. You can also put some shadow, right? Background shadow and all. So this is how you put the inline style. I mean, I don't, I haven't done this, but this is just an option. So that's why I just talked about it. Or the quick trick, if you don't want to do it like this, you can create a simple object, create a file, and uh, you can put that inside a separate file. Or let's say, I'm just putting styles here. This is a JavaScript object, right? And I can put, okay, this is the section. In that case, you don't need to put a lot of stuff here. I can just extract it out here and the section style goes here. Because all are these just the JavaScript object properties. And we can have the avatar like uh, the image. We can have an avatar. This is another JavaScript property inside a style object. And we had one more for the P tag. So we can just extract that out and let's see label. Okay, and now what we can do is a styles.section. We can use that styles.section inside a style. It's also the same thing. We just move the things out style.section. Here we can just remove this thing and we can call it as a styles dot avatar same thing we can do here styles dot label and let's put that the same everywhere i mean this is looks looks more clean because the styles are in the different file and the css is in different file and this looks nice also uh, width we actually fix the width we don't need to fix this background object fit and cover okay so this is just another way just to make uh, the code looks clean so this is about inline style right it's like quickest way to write style easiest way has a great preference and you can override the classes override the styles tedious right it's it's tedious to convert the the vanilla CSS into font family, right? We, we don't have a habit to write font family. We have a font dash family, font dash size, font dash weight. Not like this. So, and it doesn't look good, I mean, at all. When the another thing is we write a plain CSS. So we got the style.css. Here we started writing this, okay? So there is a body. Inside body, we can set the all the properties for the body. Body is the root tag we have. So what we say is, okay, body will follow this. And then we have uh, all the different classes. I mean, we, can, we have to create the classes for it. We can actually convert all these things inside the classes. Section can be, okay, we can't convert them. We have to rewrite them again. First, we have to import the style.css. And here we can say is, this class is going to be a section. So now we can decide which class this is going to be. Uh, we can just talking about the profile. So we can say, okay, this is the profile. Profile section. We'll just replace all these things with the, we'll just replace all these things. Because we are not using style tag now. We can actually, there are some already class name tags added. We can actually try to replace so class name is profile or let's say testimonial instead of this so we have testimonial class go to style.css and then we'll just add okay what should we do with the testimonial here we can say is a margin zero auto and now we are back with the the vanilla css we were writing zero auto and padding is margin is zero auto and padding we have is zero to rem we are just providing only horizontal padding 
then we have other classes here we have testimonial wrapper just add some classes to the testimonial wrapper why it is complaining okay this is the class name what i'm doing testimonial and then there is a testimonial wrapper that is like everything we are putting inside this testimonial wrapper so we can put some classes to make it like a text align we have is center everywhere and then we have max width we can assign this is like a profile so max width let's say 900 pixel everything we are to center line so we can just say margin auto margin zero auto and we can also provide some border because we are creating a profile profile layout so border we can say one pixel solid and ccc okay this looks nice now at least better margin top we can give 50 pixel okay this looks now nice now we can add the another classes what other classes we have in testimonial wrapper we have p tag right we are not writing says so this is how we have to cascade these things so the p tag will have like, like the paragraph we are writing that will have this and then inside this we have one more class which is testimonial avatar that also we can add dot avatar and this will follow the same styles which we have added we want to make it look like now we are just creating the profile card i think we need to put parts in top little more yes and this margin top can be 50 yes now this looks nice and then this is how we can create other styles in a separate file and now we are importing this and this looks nice we can put some font uh, the the cool font a proper font and this is how we can do it okay now this is just another way like you can create a separate file and do and all these things uh, here what we can do is here we need to take care of the BAM block element modifier we don't have a SAS so we have to end up writing lot of classes lot of repetitions is there we can use SAS SAS is always better right when we want to create a nested styles we can reuse things using mixins you can create a variables and all so SAS is always the better option right so let's say if I want to create a simple font uh, I can just create a font basic it's like a reusable piece I can write and I can just say font uh, size one rem and I can just extend this everywhere I want and but I need to just rename it to assess not CSS then only it will be identified now if you want to include this anywhere what you will do is you will just extend font basic so the the font of the body is the font basic so these all these features you will get when you use ses and we can also take care of uh, putting the nesting like uh, nesting we can understand from here so testimonial is there then the testimonial wrapper so first you will write testimonial here you can see testimonial is there and then we have a testimonial wrapper so this can directly go inside this currently we are not reusing anything testimonial wrapper and inside testimonial wrapper we have testimonial avatar so all these are nested classes okay wrapper and this is avatar but uh, we can see one reusability here testimonial name right here we have the span tag and we have to customize this thing right so what we can do is we can simply use testimonial uh, name is the class and there we have a span tag so similarly we can actually do the nesting 
this we can just keep outside so we are extending the font basic and for the span tag so this is how we write this s i mean i don't need to teach how to declare the variables mix ins and include and extend those mix ins and the functions directly here so inside app.js we can just say scss instead of says and will it allow me to because this is a create react app it should also import says files and this is the same as it is right so i mean currently we have only basic styles but like you can create the nesting of all these classes nav ulli if i talk about simple ses file currently we don't have a nav ulli but like if you are doing something like this so what you are doing ul is coming inside nav block and the li is coming inside a nav right and then there is anchor tag so you can do this kind of nesting and this is getting compiled into css when you look into the browser and you need to have a node ses modules and all to compile it you can also see the compiled output now uh, we'll talk about post css or like css in js how we are creating a css modules and all so i mean i haven't used it a lot i will just create a styles.module.css let's create a new file styles dot modules module dot css it's like css modules and here we can create a css module like this uh, we have the css we can copy the body stuff so these are named as a module so this is the body tag we are not using says so just replace this and uh, okay like how we are going to use this thing now we can just say we can import this style as a module inside your component instead of this we will do something like this and styles dot body like styles dot testimonial okay here we can just say uh, so here class name we can use the same class name and the property we need to pass is styles dot body let's say i'm passing styles dot body similarly same as others you can pass the the particular class name styles dot this is says this is module dot css we are importing it here in the app dot js file styles dot body so styles dot body will apply the body styling onto this particular section so let's see if it works so css modules are another slight alternative to something like css and ses uh, what what actually is different for the css module is it generates the dynamic classes at the runtime okay the output html looks totally different so here this is how we will, we will apply the styles using uh, the css module i mean if you have the class somewhere then you can also apply something like this class name and styles testimonial wrapper right so you can pass you can create a testimonial wrapper as a class inside the css module and put your styles here this will get added in the app.js so this is just another way and this is how you can actually import the styles this is javascript object and this is the property and at the runtime this will generate the dynamic styles dynamic style names okay uh, the styles are scoped in the C css modules this can be used with the css and the ses okay can be used immediately without setup with the create react app css modules now last thing we are going to talk about is css in js let's just clean these things up last name is testimonial wrapper directly in our component dot js file okay so we will take a just a simple example first to understand this we have to get it from the styled components
this we have to import and then we can create a style component let's say i wanted to create a button component so first of all import a style component on top i created a style components now uh, button like button you already know there is a html tag uh, button div body everything can be considered as a styled component like button here we already know that it's going to be a button div so we can say styled dot here you can see all the html tags button p div and here i'm talking about the button tag okay and here i can specify all the styles for that so what the color is color for the button is sorry and all the properties let's say font family font size border radius and all all these things you can specify for this button and it's like the vanilla css we are writing the same kind of css we are writing that we are going to place in here so here we are not writing the the inline styles where we are writing border without dash without dash here here it is a simple style so it's a style component of type button and you can also write as custom behavior like add the red and if there is a hover then what should be the behavior so all the pseudo classes hover active focus you can write opacity i am going to change to 0.9 and now this is the button tag we just created now how to use this button uh, we can just simply use this button uh, in our component we can write our separate component for that same thing now now this button you might be thinking what is this button is this button is a new component no it's a styled component similarly you can create n number of style component and these components are like uh, can receive props can do a lot of dynamic thing let's say i want to create another button of uh, and i'm passing one property inverted okay button i wanted to create another button of type inverted so we can access the props also and we can change the background okay so let's say this is a style component and here we have background so in the background we can actually dynamically assign the property based on the the props you are passing so this is the props so here if the props dot inverted which you are passing from here if the inverted is true which you are passing that means that is a true then it is like uh, you can say black or otherwise it is green okay right yeah this is how it is applied color you can see white okay so i mean this is how you can create a style component not only the button the whole application can use style components and you can create all the styles like this button div uh, body h1 p tag everything can be a style component like if you just do is const p uh, para okay you can create this component with any name and it can be styled dot what you are doing you i'm looking for p tag here right and just define all the styles for this font size margin padding let's say i'm just putting all these things so para is now a component and you can use it anywhere in your code so it is like a new version of p tag you have created right so this is how all these things style component works now we have covered like uh, what all different possible ways these style component css in js is predictable style components are scoped to individual components because we will be writing that inside a components and this is also called as a css in js right because we are not writing a separate css files we are considering them as a part of js okay no need to focus on naming conventions and all you can put anything here whatever the class name you want and put all the styles inside it people use it oftenly like use it heavily but i am still relying on sas files like putting a separate sas files and defining all the styles inside it
you can choose whatever the way whatever is the best option for you but these are the most all possible options to style a react component i hope this video is helpful uh, thanks everyone bye bye